What's up, guys? You're welcome to Himakam TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, uh, a video of surface of Senator Ibrahim Mantu. He was a deputy senate president under PDP from 2003 to 2007. He is actually late now, but the video has surfaced and the video is uh, actually going viral on the social media. The video shows him um, narrating the technique they use in rigging election. Listen to this video. I'll be back. Senator Manto, can I just quickly clarify? Did I hear you say that you helped rig elections before now? Uh, let, let me tell you one thing. Yes. Yes. I did. Because I'm now confessing the truth. I, 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 look, what, what do I mean? I don't have to go and change elections. But you know when you provide money, you give money to INEC boys to help you if they see any chance that they, 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 they should uh, favor you, you provide money to the security. Any, all our elections in the past, I've been in this game for about 40 years. And I tell you, each time, it's not necessarily when I'm contesting election, but when my party sponsors a candidate. I would like that candidate to win election. And what, what we used to do before, we make provision for INEC, we make provision for security, we make provision for even agents of other parties, you know, so that they will, so that they will not, you know, raise any objection to, uh, to whatever we are able to get. So whether... I, do, I, I, I risk myself or not, by providing those resources, financial uh, inducement to the officials, I am rigging election. Do you think that we can diminish or remove that influence as 2019 approaches? I believe so because, you see, if people are born again like me and they refuse to do it, if we, the players, unless we give before somebody will take, right? So don't give. And then we will not get a tech. We will not get. We will not get a tech. The most. Why you, you don't even ask me why am I thinking this way? Look, I am tired of being work, of being seen as a criminal in the streets of the world because we are a Nigerian. You know, you assume that everybody is an innocent human being until he is it's proven otherwise. But once you are outside this country with a green passport. And they say that you are a Nigerian, even if you are a pastor or you are an imam, they will assume that you are criminally minded or you have criminal tendencies just because of where you come from. That must change. I am tired of living in poverty in the midst of plenty. I cannot, even no matter how much you have, every day you see people coming to you, relations, friends, this and that. My wife has given birth. My, my mother is the hospital, this and that. Every day. But if everybody had enough to take care of himself or herself, they won't come bothering you. All right, guys. So you guys heard um, the late Ibrahim man to confess the technique they use. Um, it's not new. It is not a new technique. It's what they still use today. They still do it today. And uh, it's so disheartening to see that what Ibrahim Mantu planted, what they planted way back, you can imagine all the way back, 2003 when he was deputy senior president you know they pl they plant this seed they plant the corruption nigeria is experiencing today all of them about Joe, they were involved in this and it was so bad under about Joe that in fact you even run for election and only get only two votes yeah you run for election you get only two votes doesn't matter if family members they didn't vote for you doesn't mean that you don't have a friend. So it was that bad. Our electoral system had been hijacked already. And I don't even know how we are going to salvage this. You see, APC is adopting the same method. They are doing it today. The rigging still continues. And even they vowed that they were going to see rig even after 2023. That is why a lot of people are going to boycott the election. They are saying that the election will not hold because there is not going to be free and fair. Even after the last one we just had, in 2019, it wasn't free and fair. I mean, Buhari and Atiku, everybody had agreed that Atiku won that election, but it was hijacked by Buhari forces. All right, so what do you think? Ibrahim Mantu is late now. I pray God forgives him of all his sin because all of us, we all pray for God to uh, to forgive us so that we can make paradise at the end of our life here on earth. But however, 
they, they, they see the planted has become a mighty Iroko tree. Very hard to chop down. What do you guys think? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.